Unique animals you won't believe exist. The animal kingdom is incredibly large, I bet you, that you don't know a quarter of all the species that exist on the entire planet. Would you like to know them? There are plenty of animals we've never seen in person, or on animal planet. And many of them look oddly terrifying, or in this case, oddly adorable. That's right. Some of the weirdest animals can become the most adorable. Animal evolution was tasked with creating the rarest and cutest animals on the planet, strange creatures that live freely in the wild, or become exotic pets. If you want to be surprised and explode with tenderness, Get ready to meet these strange looking animals that are actually cute. And for some extra fun, find our mascot Ned, hiding throughout the video. Secretary Birds Snakes can be one of the most abundant predators in the ecosystem, and even we fear them. But, there is a bird that is capable of dealing with virtually any poisonous snake. The secretary bird is an agile and fast predator that when making an attack, has to be faster than its prey, the snake. His first attack has to be effective enough to knock his prey unconscious, so that it has no chance against the secretary bird. On land, the secretary bird is also capable of defending itself with its legs, with a force even greater than five times its own weight. It has become clear that the great secretary bird is a strong predator that can kick out its enemies. The Naked Mole Rat If you are one of those who is afraid of mice and rats, or small and furry rodents, I do not think you are ready to meet the naked mole rat. A rodent with a rather strange appearance, and without a single hair on its entire body. These creatures may look a little scary to the naked eye. But they can be very adorable with their small eyes and big teeth. These curious rodents are not just strangers by their looks, they can live for over 30 years, they are immune to diseases like cancer and they live in a society dominated by a queen. The most particular thing about this animal, is its set of teeth, that are located on the outside of its lips and are used to dig. Evolution was in charge of giving these characteristics to this strange and cute friend to ensure his survival. The Red-Lipped Batfish In the depths of the sea live strange creatures that have never been seen by man, until recently. Among them, the Red-Lipped Batfish lives. From the depths of the Pacific Ocean near the Galapagos Islands, this strange creature, looks like it came out of your worst nightmares, but don't sweat it, it is not at all dangerous. The batfish lives in the depths of the sea. But there is something in particular that will seem strange to you. It has difficulty swimming. This little one has fins that serve as legs to move around, something impractical, with its striking red lips, you would think it is a female, but it is not, the batfish is a male, and its lips serve to attract their partners. Something unusual in the depths of the marine world. Haiku Bird Can you imagine having a mythical creature as a pet? It would be great to have a dragon, griffin, or phoenix as your adventure companion, as well as being incredibly adorable. If you like birds, especially immortal birds like the phoenix, I want you to meet the Haiku Bird. The bird name Haiku is based on a creature from Hindu mythology named Haiku. Haiku is immortal, and is the pet of the goddess Parvati, who feeds him with bananas. I know what you are thinking, and you are right, this bird is not real, it is a doll made by C.M. Wyvern, an artist from the Deviant Art page whose photography went viral in 2014. The artist behind the photo is dedicated to creating sculptures of creatures adorable and weird, and this so-called haiku bird, was just one of those sculptures that actually represented a cloud antelope. Although this animal turned out to be fake, this does not mean that there are no more incredible creatures in the world. Kinkajou In the depths of the forests of Central and South America, small mammals inhabit. The most peculiar, the kinkajous. Belonging to the raccoon family, the kinkajous have not only inhabited the forests, they have also been domesticated in some countries, thanks to their small size and smooth, golden and gray fur. These mammals can look cute for their big eyes and small ears, even several inhabitants have called them honey bears. The kinkajous have a fairly healthy diet based on melons, mangoes or apples, or even small insects, birds, or their eggs. Although they seem adorable, the kinkajou should not be domesticated, they belong to their habitat. Unfortunately, there are several industries that illegally hunt them for their fur. The Magnificent Tree Frog 
In Australia inhabits a small amphibian that is positioned in the heights of the forests, it is the magnificent tree frog. The first time it was seen in the middle of its habitat, it was in 1977 and it was catalogued as one more within the species of tree frogs. These little ones are not afraid of humans, they have been seen inside buildings, even in bathrooms or water tanks. Frogs are more active at night and hunt small insects. These little ones have been domesticated by some Australians due to their cute appearance and small size. Piglet Squid The piglet squid is one of the most strangely adorable creatures you will ever see. The ocean is home to some of the scariest creatures out there. I don't even want to imagine what kind of animals inhabit the deepest parts of the sea. But this little animal is a big exception, being a little squid that looks like a little piglet. The cute squid was first discovered in 1907. It measures the same as a human finger, it seems that it used lipstick and had long eyelashes that make it look very glamorous. The squid is so incredible that even a group of experts, on an expedition to explore the eastern Pacific Ocean, were completely amazed to see this little animal. So, if you fear the ocean, remember that there are also adorable creatures like the piglet squid living in it, that will calm your nerves. The Snake Neck Turtle The Great Ocean Highway located in Australia is perfect for seeing different types of animals, including the Snake Neck Turtle, also called Stinkers. Its long neck is the most distinctive factor of this curious turtle, which is similar to that of a snake. These turtles can live to be 50 years old, inhabiting near freshwater ponds, rivers and streams, along the Great Ocean Highway. But sadly due to pollution, their habitat is affected. The snake neck turtle is a very well-protected animal in the area. So, if you come across one of these beautiful creatures by the Great Ocean, respect its space. And if you see any in danger, help it off the road. Tree Kangaroos If I tell you that a kangaroo can live in trees, would you believe it? Well, you should, since it's real. Tree Kangaroos live in Australia, Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Among these marsupials, there are 14 species that inhabit trees. Although some scientists are not sure how to classify them. The first time this curious species was seen was in 1883, by the Norwegian explorer and ethnographer, Carl Sophus. He spent four years of his life in Queensland, surrounding indigenous peoples in the area and studying local wildlife. Gray and brown are the predominant colors of the tree kangaroo. It is most active during the day, and like its marsupial brothers, it has a very long and strong tail, that helps it maintain balance while climbing trees. But it is not that he always lives in trees, he can usually be seen in the ground as a common marsupial. So, the next time you're in Oceania, you could take a look up at the trees, you might bump into a beautiful tree kangaroo. Pink Cat Found in the UK Kittens are adorable, cute, playful, and fun. We all know that kittens come in a wide variety of shapes and colors, some white, black, orange, brown, or gray. But, would you believe me if I told you that there is a pink kitten in the UK? Her name is Rosa, a cute kitty whose white hair was painted pink, something terrible that we should never do to any animal. Rosa appeared to be an abandoned pet or stray cat, and was apparently very carefully dyed as it did not have its characteristic pink hue around its eyes or nose. The little girl was taken to the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. And there they tried to remove the pink dye from her hair without any results. Since the dye was permanent, instead of giving the kitten another bath and stressing her out more, the organization preferred to let her snow white hair grow back. Never dye your pet's hair, much less with permanent dyes. Remember that this is a form of animal abuse. What do you think of these creatures? Aren't they fabulous? I bet you didn't expect creatures like these to exist, or some to be so adorable. Didn't you feel like touching the little piglet squid, or hugging a kinkajou with all your might? These creatures are truly unique in the animal kingdom, and we, as human beings are always fascinated to discover that there are such strange and special animals in the places we least expect. If you love these creatures, remember to take care of them, no need to have them as exotic animals as pets, since this harms them and the environment. It's better to let the animals live happily in their houses, and treat them with all the love and respect they deserve. I hope you had fun and discovered new things about the animal world. 
Until next time. Remember to hit the bell icon after you subscribe. So, you can get instant notifications for all our new videos.